Hey, good day guys and girls, Jesse Daly here with your Virgin Island Source weekly weather update for this week beginning Sunday, March 3rd through next Saturday, March 9th for the beautiful U.S. Virgin Islands. And my friends, this week high pressure over the region will help to keep us dry for the most part. So we'll see a lot of sunny skies, but the seas will be hazardous and we'll talk about that in just a minute. And as you can see from this forecast graphic, courtesy of the Weather Channel, the forecast calls for lots of sunshine as high pressure builds over the area. Daytime high temperatures will be in the low 80s this week, about 27 to 28 degrees Celsius, and nighttime temperatures will be in the mid 70s Fahrenheit, about 23 to 24 degrees Celsius. The UV index is now around a 10 out of 10, which of course is very high, so make sure to protect your skin while you're enjoying the beautiful Virgin Islands sunshine this week. For our surfer, sailor, and swimmer friends out there, as I mentioned, the seas will be rough for at least the first half of this week. That is due to a northerly swell and gusty winds generating some wind-driven choppy seas. A small craft advisory will be in effect for portions of the waters around the islands through at least Tuesday, and the rip current risk will be high for the first part of the week. I'll be sure to keep you posted on additional alerts and marine weather updates at the Source Weather page. And finally, for our Tropic Watch, my friends, we have less than 100 days until the official start of this year's Atlantic hurricane season, which begins on June 1st. Right now, there are no cyclones on the horizon, but I do encourage you to follow the Virgin Islands Territorial Emergency Management Agency for any weather-related alerts that may be issued, including earthquake notifications that may come through. I also want to mention, my friends, that an article has been published on the Source website that discusses the potential for a La Nina weather pattern to develop during this year's hurricane season. That could potentially increase the number of cyclones that develop. I'll be sure to keep you posted on all of that, but in the meantime, do check out that article if you're interested. Guys and girls, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic week and live it up in the beautiful Virgin Islands. And as always, I will keep an eye on the tropical skies come rain or shine.